Hey everyone, so I have another Friends episode to talk about today and this is episode 8 of the first season, the one where Nana dies twice. Um, now this first day is the 10th of October 1994, so it's a little over 16 years old. And um, again, there's sort of two, two subplots within this one. And just like the last Friends episode I reviewed, Chandler's plot is very much on his own. Chandler at work, people start to think that he is gay and he's like, I'm not gay. But then he has to try and convince them that he's not gay and then by saying I'm not gay, I'm not gay, it makes him sound gay all the more. So Chandler gets himself into a bit of a rut and uh, it's very typical Chandler and it just gives us a greater insight into the character and the fact that he has kind of camp personalities sometimes. So I really do love Chandler's side of it. And then um, the other main side of this is of course the one where Nana dies. Um, Ross and Monica's grandmother Nana um, dies and then she comes back alive and then she dies dies again. I know it's kind of a serious subject but friends have handled this really well and done it rather amusingly brilliantly. Um, and then there's a the bit where Ross falls in the grave and you've got the funeral and it's just it, it's very exciting and normally funeral scenes are quite depressing and I find that this one is actually quite a lot more interesting than what most TV shows would make a funeral scene because you're not sitting there thinking I'm depressed. You're sitting thinking this is pretty amusing. Because we didn't really know the character of Nana, we never we never got a chance to know this character. We don't really miss her, so we don't feel the the sadness and the emotions that um, Monica and Ross don't really portray too much sadness either. Um, of course, Ross gets a little bit high on medicine, um, so he's not in any state to do that. But it's really nice to ha I don't want to say it's nice to have a funny funeral, but you know generally in TV programs are depressing. You're sitting thinking, well, my day is ruined now because I feel about two feet tall. Um, so it's really nice that it's kind of, it's done lightheartedly, but it's done tastefully and it's done really well. Um, the cast in this is obviously brilliant. You have all the main the main six friends, which I won't name them because I'm sure you all know them. Um, and then you have Jack and Judy. Jack is played by Elliot Gold and Judy is played by Christina Pickles. This is the first episode we really properly see them. And I really do like these characters. I don't think this was the first episode that I saw them in. So I already, you know, I already knew who they were by this point. But the casting is absolutely fantastic in this. This isn't one of my favourite episodes of Friends. Like, there are other ones which I prefer, other ones I'd rather watch. But if it's on, I do watch it and I do sit and enjoy it. It's probably one of the ones I've watched the least. Just because the DVD disc that it is on in the box set is the one that I watch the least. Because Series 1 is probably my least favourite out of the lot. Because it's just, it's not as bright and colourful. But I do like it. It's not the worst. It's not the best. It is a good episode. Go and sit down and watch it if you can. Um, I will be doing more Friends character profiles soon. I think I've done two. I've done Ross and I've done Rachel. Um, I think the next one I'll be doing is Phoebe. Because um, a lot of people have requested that. So look out for that. My next Friends episode review will be next week. But if you have any more Friends related videos you'd like me to do. Please let me know and I will do them as well. I would be more than happy to sit and talk about Friends for you. Um, but that's it for now. So I will see you all next time. Bye.